Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Tiny and welcome to Stories of Mama Naini. Today, we're going to talk about how and why my breastfeeding journey failed. Alam ko, it's usual na topic, how to increase uh, milk supply, how to boost milk supply, but here I am and I'm gonna share my experience bakit nag-fail ang breastfeeding journey ko. Sa mga mommies, keep on watching! Welcome back to my channel. Um, nabanggit ko nga kanina that we'll be talking about uh, my failed breastfeeding journey. So let me just give you a uh, background. My baby is 5 months old so I gave birth last September. And yes, hindi ko po siya breastfeed. Even before conceiving our baby, nakaplano na sa isip ko talaga that I will breastfeed my baby kung magkakaroon ako. Pati nga brand ng refrigerator na kukunin ko to replace our current refrigerator. Meron na ako, pati yung sukat ng ilang cubic feet, meron na ako. So definitely, target na target ko talaga, magpapa-breastfeed pag nagkaroon na kami ng baby. And it happened, but then, hindi nga ako nakapag-breastfeed. During the early months ng pregnancy, si mama na nasa Canada, uh, siguro mga twice na siyang nagpadala ng mga boxes for baby stuff. Uh, meron na siyang mga baby bottles, clothes, clothes na hanggang pang one year old, meron na. Um, pati pati, meron na rin siya. Blankets, um, onesies, ano pa ba? Baby wash, toothpaste, um, baby gym. And also, supportado ni mama yung, yung target ko talaga na mag-breastfeed. So, she sent um, lactation cookies yung breastfeeding cloth or yung cover at the same time I already purchased items sa Lazada and Shopee yung mga bagay na uh, classic Filipino baby items katulad ng bird's eye na lampin yung rubber mat maternity belt ko yung big kiss um, overlap clothes ni baby kasi yung galing sa labas I felt na magiging makapal but actually when the things came in, hindi naman I also purchased some um, baby essentials na mga tiny buds na items yung tummy time, yung fabcon niya uh, bottle wash laundry powder and also my breastfeeding essentials so meron akong nursing bra uh, nursing pads, electric pump, um, yung silicone letdown pump. Actually, I already planned to get Haka. Alam nyo yun, yung mahal na mahal na letdown pump. But then, my pinsan, who just gave birth, advised me to get items with the same function, but not the same price. So, she recommended me to sellers who are selling um, the electric pump and also the silicone letdown pump. Bumili na rin ako ng supplement tulad ng Mega Malunggay. Tapos nung 9 months na, nung malapit na akong nakaschedule na mga anak, I also purchased additional uh, breastfeeding needs. Yung M2 Malunggay, Lactation Cookies, Pesto Spread, yung Coffee and Chocolate Drink na Malunggay pa rin. And syempre, vitamins and um, I ate a lot of nutritious food and drank plenty of water. Para talaga mahanda na ako sa panganganak, hindi lang sa pag-breastfeed. So the day arrived, nakapanganak na ako. Our breastfeeding journey was actually successful. Um, my baby showed cooperation and wala, walang problema as in everything was good. Kaya nga nakalabas kami kaagad kasi everything was just so good. But then, after being at home for two days, ayun, doon na namin na-notice na parang wala talagang lumalabas and the baby is not getting enough milk and umiiyak na siya kasi gutom na gutom na siya. So, my husband and I decided to purchase um, baby formula kasi hindi rin naman pwedeng wala siya iinumin, gugutumin siya. Alam niyo yung feeling na hindi naninigas or hindi umiinit pa usually kapag ka uh, 
there is milk production, yun yung nangyayari. Parang may engorgement or things like that. Pero for me, it didn't happen. Pero those signs na uh, there is milk supply coming out, wala, wala akong naramdaman. At saka wala talaga kami nakikita. So after a week, I asked my um, ex-colleague who also just gave birth and she advised me for power pump, which I did. For almost 8 weeks, Ayun, lagi ako nagpa-power pump. But then, I was only getting 10 ml, 20 ml, hanggang sa naging 0 ml. And yung 20 ml na yun, it only happened once. The rest, it's always 10 ml or none. Lalong-lalo na yun nung last part na, wala na talagang lumalabas. Yes, I can hear you, mommy. Only latch. Only latch. Only latch. Yun din yung sinasabi sa ano, isang group na sinalihan ko sa Facebook about breastfeeding. Yes, we have latching time ni baby. And it would feel so good na nakatingin siya sa'yo, nakangiti while latching. Pero, maya-maya, pipikit na ang mata niya because my baby doesn't see me as a milk supplier but a pacifier. <laughs> So, wala pa rin. So, that happened for 8 weeks. Only latch, um, formula feeding, and then continuous pa rin yung mga supplement, yung mga chocolate drinks, coffee drinks, malunggay capsules, um, malunggay soup, lahat ng anything related sa malunggay, patuloy pa rin yun. But when my husband was in Manila, I had to start moving kasi Actually, my husband does everything at home. Siya yung naglalaba, siya yung nagluluto, nagpe-prepare ng bottles ni baby, nagpe-prepare ng milk ni baby. Yung paglalaba, kasama din yung damit ni baby as in almost everything. So, when my husband wasn't around, I had to start moving na. Kasi I also have a teenager at home who's uh, doing an online class. I have to cook for him and at the same time take care of the little one. Doon ko na-realize na I have to stop. I have to stop trying. Kasi there was nothing happening. Wala talagang nangyayari. So when my husband came home, I explained to him na, Honey, titigil na talaga ako. And he also agreed. Kasi siya rin mismo sinasabi niya, but wala, but wala. Nag-sink in na kasi sa akin yung frustration. So after two weeks, I felt that I regained strength. Um, kasi hindi ko na siya kinakarga para magpatete uh, wala na yung mga awkward positions na mga ganon uh, nakakatulog na ako ng maayos diretso na but then my guilt was also growing kasi at a younger age na 2 months plus my baby should still be breastfeeding I knew that and so I decided I'm gonna give it another try I watched YouTube videos regarding relactation and I did follow everything that they said pati yung pagbili ng fenugreek at saka more malunggay capsules and again actually nung time na I stopped nagpatuloy pa rin naman yung pag-inom ko ng mga supplements so I was expecting there will be a boost kasi natigil but then no it did not happen Parang yun yung nagbigay sa akin ng reaffirmation na stop na, stop na mami, huwag na, huwag mo nang ipilit. And so I decided to give away my breastfeeding items sa sister-in-law ko who got pregnant. It was one way for me to move on kasi masakit talaga, aaminin ko. Ilang months ko siyang inisip na gagawin ko even before being pregnant. And then around 9 months of being excited and preparing na sa imagination ko siya pag natutulog ako sakit siya mami na hindi ko siya nagagawa kasi I felt like hindi ko nabigyang justice yung pagiging nanay ko but I had to move on
another thing that I did to help me move on was avoid videos or anything related to uh, breastfeeding. So, yung mga finalo ko sa Instagram, sa YouTube, inanfollow ko muna sila. Pero dun sa mga, kunyari, artista talaga, and they, it just so happened na nabuntis din and, and they gave birth. So, syempre, lahat na nasa, nasa feed nila is about breastfeeding. Yun. Hindi ko naman sila inanfollow. Scroll up ka agad, lipat agad sa ibang photos na pwede kong matingnan. Definitely, I avoided anything regarding breastfeeding. And that's also reason why meron na akong YouTube channel. Kasi I had to focus on something. I had to distract myself. Um, I have to put my energy into something. Otherwise, kung wala akong ginagawa, I might get depressed. Good thing naman na by January, I was back to work. Although I'm working at home, there is distraction na and my focus is set at something. Hindi na dun sa pagpe-breastfeed. And so I had a conversation with my husband. We both asked the question, why? What happened? What did I do wrong? Then my husband said, it might be my age. Kasi nasa tinatawag na tayong high risk. Pero I disagreed kasi there are moms older than me who's able to breastfeed. Or siguro dahil malaki yung gap ng pag-deliver ko sa eldest ko and our bunso, 14 years siguro. Siguro yung sa system ng katawan ko, wala na yung pagbe-breastfeed. But then I thought, parang automatic yun eh, sa system ng katawan ng babae pag nanganak. Lactation ang kasunod nun. But then my husband said it could have been the effect of epidural. Kasi hindi ko rin maintindihan, parang sobrang lakas ng tama ng epidural sa akin. Doon pa lang sa hospital, the nurse said ako daw yung pinakamatagal na na-release sa delivery room. It took me 3 hours to stop chilling while the rest were able to get out mga after an hour lang. And then when we also came home, para ang tagal ng pagbaba ng water sa katawan, yung nanlalaki yung mga paa. It took me siguro, it took me almost 2 months. And then we searched, Mr. Google said, it could be the epidural effect. And so, if you're gonna ask me, ano ba talaga? Bakit nangyari yun? Why? Why am I not breastfeeding? Hindi ko rin kasi masasagot. Ang masasabi ko lang sa inyo, yung lahat ng mga ginawa ko, parang tama naman sila sa alam ko. Hindi ko alam kung anong mali dun sa ginawa ko. Siguro, siguro because we introduced formula milk, Pero yun nga ang sabi ko kanina, alam nga namang hindi ko pa inumin si baby, gugutumin siya. Second thing, I didn't contact any breastfeeding expert or breastfeeding doctor kung meron mang ganun. I just went ahead with the experience. But then, siguro nga, you just don't always get what you want. May mga bagay na hindi nangyayari, katulad ng hindi lahat ng nagiging nanay nakakapag-breastfeed, hindi lahat ng nag-aasawa, nagkakaroon ng anak, hindi lahat ng babae na ikakasal. Things don't happen just because they have a pattern or design. Sometimes, things don't just work. Yun yung nasa isip ko. And yung pang Miss Universe pageant na question ng what is the essence of a woman, disagree na disagree ako sa sagot na because you're able to give birth. No. There is no standard response on knowing what is the essence of a woman because a woman will always stand out because she is equipped to be a strong person. Ganyan tayo mga babae. Nakakapanganak, nakakapag-breastfeed, na ikakasal o hindi, we are indespicable. So yun nga mga mommies, things don't happen just because we want it. I didn't get to breastfeed, hindi ko rin nakuha yung gusto kong refrigerator, but you know what mga mommies, nanalo ako sa isang raffle nung December, January din deliver yung Kelvinator Mini Refrigerator. Grabe yung humor ni God, ano? So, siguro sabi niya, no, I won't give you that refrigerator kasi you won't be breastfeeding. I'm gonna give you this. Parang nakakatuwa lang. But it's not the idea of having the refrigerator that I was thinking. I believe that God saw my situation. God saw what I was going through 
and that was his way of telling me, I know, I know. And there will be multiple times that I would be asking his help. Siguro mga 25 years na tuition fee ni baby. You know, we can't fix our eyes on a single situation and be down with it forever. There is more to life. There is more to life. Thank you for watching, guys.